Hello, welcome back to BS Live. In this episode, I will be showing you how uh, you can use your smartphone. In this case, I'm using my iPhone and an app called uh, Camtrack AR to basically uh, shoot a film or shoot a footage. And while you are shooting, you are using the AR or augmented reality uh, camera tracking data to kind of track it and then bring it into Blender so you can actually add 3D contents creations in in post so this is one of the one of example so this is uh when you use the app uh, i think the app is yeah i think yeah this is the app camtrack air this app has been around for almost four years um the it's a it's a paid app if you want the full version but a free one allows you to shoot a few seconds i think this is uh one example and my footage is looking something like this. So I move around with the camera just to get uh, the idea. So I'm just, I just put it in into Blender. And the result, if I turn on the alpha, so a little bit like this. So you can do your lighting, shadow, and you can add, you can add 3D objects uh, in pose. So let's see how I created this. So I have this Suzanne that I created earlier. Uh, oops. Let's see, let's hide this. So I want to basically just bring uh, the camera data. So we need to use this importer. I think I might already install it. So yeah, this is hit film AR tracking data. So you simply basically install this add-on. Once you have this installed, uh, it's in, in Blender. So you can import this HFCS data. So file import camera data and just uh, drag and drop this file and just load it and it will create a uh, this camera that that was originally from uh, iPhone AR camera tracking and if we jump into the camera so now we are inside the camera I believe the camera is looking down or something, but yeah. So this is Suzanne. We go back to the camera view. So file, save as. So camera tracking demo. So I think this is very convenient. It's almost like you have like this uh, camera motion capture or motion controller. So you're able to record the motion of your camera while you're uh, shooting the footage. You can actually, I think this is, this has a lot of usage. Um, so we want to be able to see the footage inside the camera. So select select uh, the camera and, and change the background image to the movie clip. So the movie clip is this. I just drag and drop it once again. Just load it. So by default it's a, uh, the alpha is 50%, you can increase it to maximum. Now, since we have uh, uh, the full camera motions, and Susan is static, but the whole thing is in place. So it feels like Susan is part of the scene. So it's actually kind of interesting. In fact, you, you might be able to maybe lay out uh, like a floor and and then create a shadow for now it's just like a, just like Suzanne is kind of floating but it's moving with the camera so it's kind of cool uh, so we don't want the Sun actually my I, I just set it up to EV instead of cycles I think it should be faster Yeah, it should be a little bit faster, but I'm recording as well. So let's create a bunch of light. This is area light, and there's a there's a MacBook Pro monitor at the background uh, in the background. So Suzanne might need to reflect that. So that's the area light, a bit strong. And I might just 
duplicate that light and just make another light over here and another light over here. It doesn't need to be super realistic. I just gonna make some color. So very very quickly, you know, just by shooting uh, footage via the iPhone, I can get this. I need to have like a shadow catcher or something. And in fact, we can add 3D object right now. Let's add a simple donut torus or let's try a cylinder. Oh, actually, yeah, it, because it is res uh, kind of re respecting the floor. Uh, it feels like the cylinder is going to be part of the scenes now. I remember uh, doing this back in my college time, you know, as a 3D student, uh, shooting with real footage and then try to camera match making, uh, camera uh, kind of like matching the camera from real footage into, into computer. I, I remember doing this with some of my friends. Yeah, it's actually kind of fun to be able to do that, but it, it becomes so easy now uh, just using your iPhone camera or iPad. Yeah, iPad will work as well. And you can bring in 3D object easily. It's just pretty cool. This takes me like just a few minutes to set up. So I think that's something that you can try yourself at home. Uh, this one, I just shade smooth it. Oh, just give it material. Oh well, I can try a different model next time. Just give you an idea. So yeah, just a quick camera tracking uh, tutorial, basically importing the data and yeah uh, I think this is the app called yeah cam track AR I'm surprised actually this I know uh, I haven't used this app for a long time this one apparently record the camera data uh, thanks to my Twitter friend to let me know uh, about this Dominica uh, thanks again uh, so hopefully this is useful for you let me know what you think and we can you can talk more about this and do a little bit more like camera tracking, you know, like doing the shadow, etc. and render it properly. This is just a quick look at how you set it up. Um, yeah, from the iPhone into Blender. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye.